My name is Tom Fuhi and um, I live in North Cork between Mallow and Fumoy. I'm a part-time farmer and um, I have a full-time job in Little Island and I've just become fully organic and I hope to grow milling wheats, spring, uh, spelt, rye and mill them on the farm and squeeze some rapeseed oil and camelina and flax and maybe a bit of buckwheat this year mm. and a few extra crops that I'll keep under my belt for the moment. Oh, okay, so um, because there's a market for it and um, hopefully I can get it to market and the course here would basically make and a are difference. Are you growing at the moment? I will be planting in about three weeks time. I was on the phone this morning trying to get Roy back from Germany so that's what I'm doing at the moment. Very good. So um, we'll see how it goes okay. and touch wood. So, um, and why did you, how did you find out about the diploma? I found out the diploma last year mm-hmm. when it was too late and uh, I rang up and they said that it had started and um, I did a bit of research into it and uh, I googled it and I saw it on your website in UCC and I didn't even know it had anything to do with you and uh, believe it or not so um, I said that this definitely covered all the bases for me if there was any course that would be a benefit to me this was it in starting an artisan food business. Mm-hmm. Now, I know you specialise in dairy products and all that sort of thing, and I'm on the cereal side of it. But um, so far, there's been a good crossover, and um, I might bring you over to my side a small <laughs> bit, Angela. <laughs> right, so the diploma is, is helping you. What way is Actually, the diploma helping you? Um, it helped me so far in the background I never realised, not I never realised but it, it, it's after covering bases from the point of view of food safety, uh, preservation techniques um, you're going to be doing marketing um, my assignment is on packaging and labelling which I needed to do anyway but now I know a lot more about it and what I have to do as regards rules and regulations for the food safety authority and things like that so what it's actually probably going to do for me, the biggest step would be that I will hopefully not make as many mistakes starting off that basically uh, knowledge that I would have gained from the course will basically put me in good stead that um, I'll get off and running with maybe very little hiccups. Yeah, success. Yeah. And what about the, the class and the, the makeup of the class and the networking aspect? Actually... I heard about networking at the start and I was maybe tongue in cheek and said, oh yeah, that's one of the buzzwords that you all tend to use anyway, you know. Mm -hmm. But as you can see and from talking to people, my first day I was at it, I said, why not get immersed in it? Uh, It's vital. Mm -hmm. And not only that, but people are quite willing to share uh, information and context Mm -hmm. and uh, any... um, anything could be a benefit and vice versa mm-hmm. but um, I think actually networking down the road it'll mean that we will help each other out in any of the projects that come on stream as regards um, basically advertising the products or, or helping out at products and stuff like that mm-hmm. so um, I can't find I'm actually a win-win situation at the moment okay I mightn't be uh, let's say um, the dairy sciences and the microbiology a certain amount but it wouldn't be maybe my my strongest point because I'm leaning towards the cereal side of it but I'm quite impressed at the lecturers mm-hmm. because they are so open and they are so giving of their time and not afraid to answer questions and um, it has probably made us delve a bit deeper into getting more from us as well and pushing the boat out a small bit but I would definitely think um, what of all the things I've so far it would be coming up to Ashtown here has been for me anyway Mm -hmm. right has been a big plus right and the practicals down in UCC the, the last day the cheese was outstanding the sausage making the guys behind it they were so natural but they were just talented at the job yeah. and any of the lecture I actually couldn't fault any any part of it so far the guest lecturers or the guest speakers from done the past courses um, very very sound stable individuals not afraid to 
show pitfalls and where they were done, but also to show what the course had done from as well. Like Carolyn Wrigley said, like she, if she had done the course first rather than going into business and then doing the course, she would have been in a better footing. But uh, it just goes to show you that, um, that, that the structure is there for it and it is, it is achieving its goal.